How many of you know a black man who has expressed to you that they're committed to voting for Donald Trump? Okay. I could have sworn I just saw a clip with Angela Rye on MSNBC, same network. She sat there with Charlemagne the God talking to Jake Tapper, and she said it was all, um, what was the word? A nothing burger. Angela, what do you make of, uh, of Donald Trump saying that he is building support among black voters? I don't. I make the same thing out of it that, that exists. It's absolutely nothing. It's a nothing burger. She said it was a nothing burger that there weren't people voting for Donald Trump. Black men. That it wasn't, wasn't the thing. She spoke as if she'd met a whole lot of black men and spent a lot of time with them and that they felt comfortable expressing their political thoughts with her. Angela, uh, Vice President Harris's advisors say that her campaign is going to lean heavily into the choice between her as a prosecutor uh, and Donald Trump as a convicted felon. Um, do you think that's wise? Is, is that what voters want, a prosecutor? I think there's never been a time where voters would want a prosecutor more. You have someone who has a proven track record, again, as a, as a prosecutor, as a state's attorney, um, as an attorney general, rather, and she has demonstrated that she knows how to prosecute cases against the most corrupt among us. Because that was pretty clear. That's what she said. And obviously, Charlemagne didn't say anything. He just sat there like he was on Prozac or something or something. I don't know, something. And... She said it, and Jake didn't question it. And it's like, okay, so this guy, this this MSNBC contributor, he asked the question, and the black men, they raised their hands. How many of you know a black man who has expressed to you that they're committed to voting for Donald Trump? Okay. For the brothers who have told you that or said that to you, has the emergence of Kamala Harris changed that? For those brothers. No. Why? How many of you. Hey, hey, look, guys. Um, Hold on. No. Not, none of them. None of the men. None of the brothers there. None of the men that were asked the question. Who said they know of brothers. Who are supporting Donald Trump. They didn't say, did you know a brother? He said, do you know of other black men? Men is plural. Do you know of other black men that are supporting Donald Trump? And now that Kamala is running, Kamala is running, have they changed their tune? And they all said no. And I know that's, that's anecdotal, that's isolated, right? That, don't, that ain't everybody. That ain't everybody, obviously. I, you ain't got enough microphones to go question everybody, right? But I do find it kind of interesting because, yeah, I don't think that, uh, I don't think they were lying. I don't think they're bots. I don't think they're hired. I don't think, I think MSNBC wouldn't, would try to do their best not to get people that are actually working for the Trump campaign. I could be wrong, you know what I'm saying? But they don't call it the MSDNC for nothing. This is MSDNC. This ain't Fox News. This is MSDNC. They love the DNC. They know where their butter or their bread is butter. They know, they know where they get crabs from. They know what kind of season they're going to be on the crabs. They know the place to go get the right, the, the, the creamy shakes, right? This is the, spank, the shake spot for the DNC. The DNC has their shakes. That's where they go to get their shake. That's their shake shack. That's their, that's their spot. That's where they go. That's their Panera bread, all right? And you, you hear the sentiment. It was no flinching. It was bam. So like, that's anecdotal, but then there's other stuff I've seen online from other people, and I want to warn you before I play this set, some of the language that you're going to hear is going to be a little bit rough. Hey, yo, Democrats, let me tell you something real quick. Uh, we ain't fucking with Kamala, bro. Mm-mm. No. We don't like no parcel. We ain't like it when she became uh, the vice president. You know damn well we ain't trying to have her dead, because this bitch still talking about electric school buses and shit. So. We ain't like it when she became uh, the vice president. You know damn well we ain't trying to have her dead. Because this bitch still talking about electric school buses and shit. Yeah, see, um, I told you the language is going to be a little colorful here because, I, I don't know, I, I get the impression that not everybody is on the Kamala bandwagon. 
Some people are forming their own opinions. It doesn't mean they're Trump supporters. It doesn't mean Trump supporters. It does not mean they're RFK supporters. And it doesn't mean they're Cornel West supporters or Jill Stein supporters. Just not Kamala Harris supporters. That's still legal. You can still like not like somebody, even if they happen to be light brown skin or people say they're American, black American, or whatever you want to call them. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can still not like somebody. You can still not rock with their politics because we don't personally know anybody. But this sister's pretty adamant, man. Let's let it keep going, man, just a little bit longer. You know, I'm going to try to limit the limit the, the language, but let's go. When asked, what can you do for the black community? She said nothing. But yet again, their administration did something for the Asians, the, um, the Native Americans, um, the transgenders, and, you know, but he couldn't do nothing for the blacks. You know what I'm saying? Now, your chocolate ass, I just don't feel like you responded right with the, with the, with the, with the massive stuff. I, I don't, I don't, because as a black woman, you should have been mad as hell. As a black woman, you should have been hot, Kamala, but you wasn't. You were still crispy cool. Now, I don't know no black women that were crispy cool like that, but you know, that ain't none of my business, but it is though, because I just want everybody to know we ain't fucking with you. We is not fucking with you, Kamala. You is not it. You don't even look. You don't even look the part. You don't even look like you can come over there and black woman some shit. You don't. You do don't. You don't. I don't remember not one time you even stood up for us, Kamala. That's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah, you know. See, that's one of the things that people overlook that I've noticed. Uh, my lot of my Kamala supporters, they never point out the instances. Over the last one, two, three, four, four years or so, where Kamala had an opportunity to stand up for black folks, you know, and she took it. I mean, working class black folks. I don't mean like, I don't mean like George Floyd tweets. I don't mean that. I mean, you know, like, um, you know, the myriad of issues, you know, the stuff that really hits home, like the, the home foreclosures. I told y'all we only get like 2% of SBA loans. They brag about these SBA loans. We don't get them. I, I'm going a, I'm to a wager you right now. The new immigrants that have come here in the last six months, nine months, a year, they're going to get more of a percentage of SBA loans than black Americans. And even if I'm wrong, I won't be wrong by a lot because we only get 2%. Frankly, like, I don't want to get picked. I don't want to get pissed off, but... <clears throat> There are people who think Kamala's a good choice. And they don't care that she was a part of an administration where we got 2% of small business loans. They just, they want to know about Gaza though, but they don't want to know about MLK Avenue. They don't care about that. But see, that gets me, that's when I get mad. That's when I get ticked off, man. You know, so I don't want to get ticked off. She mad enough for me. I'm going to leave her right there. If you don't care about black people having businesses and being able to, you know, be productive in this society, it's kind of hard to live in a capitalistic environment and be broke, but I get it. Black people, 40% of the homeless population, we make up like 13% of the population. I know that's a big issue to me. Not so much to you. If you want to know what we're doing with their Ukraine money, I do too, but meanwhile, 50% of, the black, 50% of families that are homeless are black. Just letting you know. And we are nowhere near half the population in America. So there's a lot of reasons why when I hear the, the stats that the Kamala bots are, run, are running off, that they're reciting off about all the great things, they're not talking about the stuff I'm talking about. I feel like I'm finished some right now, but they're not talking about the things I'm talking about, man. And I never ever heard a brother tell me nothing that I need to hear now one time, man. This Kamala Hunter thing is really starting to get to me, you know what I'm saying? You ain't putting no foot in the fire. You ain't did shit in the whole time. You been in politics. You was right here putting our brothers away and, you know what I'm saying, not allowing evidence to show to get them out of jail. You know, that was, that was you. That was you, Kamala. You, you, you did that. 
So I hope them Democrats don't think it's going to have an Obama effect where we was uh, voting by, by color. Because I promise you, I'm waiting on Mr. Orange Man to bring his ass back. Well, 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 well I, I guess I guess I was wrong. She may be Trump supporter because she said I waited on the orange man. <laughs> but OK, OK, she may be a Trump supporter. But there it is. That's the sighting right there. <coughs> the fact that I got a black woman that's a Trump supporter and that she's actually getting play like and she's not a content like creator creator because this money is a bag attached to that. It's a bag online. It's a bag attached to it. Right, so I don't know. I'm not saying they're doing it just for the bag, but it's hard to turn down millions of dollars. I mean, I haven't been faced with these predicaments. I'm too dumb. I keep saying I don't rock with either one of these people. But anyway, so that was good. So, so this is why I say back to the title. The question is: Is the Kamala Harris mania a real thing? Is it taking over the country? But is it really? That's the question. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it. And while I was looking for more signs, corporate media has pulled a fast one on us. Noam Chomsky, linguist, notable uh, thinker, philosopher. He, he had a book called Manufacturing Consent. What do you say to people who think they're well-informed by watching Nightline this week with David Brinkley and reading Time and Newsweek? Well, they are well-informed in the doctrines of the propaganda system. Uh, no, you know, it's, it's not that you can't learn anything from it. If you look at it with a sufficiently skeptical and critical eye, you can pick things out. Uh, you can compare today's uh, lies with tomorrow's concessions, you know. And it talks about how they get you to agree with their plans by uh, running all types of social engineering schemes on the American people in order to influence you to do what, you, what, to do what they want you to do and making it appear like it was your choice to do it by setting up a certain set of circumstances that push you in that direction without you even knowing it. You know what I'm saying? Like you just find yourself funneled into this direction and you were like, okay, this is what we need to do. And they're like, yeah, I knew you. Smart man, I'm glad you chose that. We had nothing to do with it at all. So when I was looking, I found this guy and this brother, he had some thoughts too. I'm watching Kamala Harris uh, election campaign thing, and I just feel like let me just say this to everybody out there who 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 uh, voted for Kamala Harris. I think y'all stupid as the motherfucker. Okay, see, um, I'm trying to keep the language. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't trying to like you know, like uh, I would like to monetize the video if possible, but you know, I, I guess if I can, I can. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Um. Rug came out the gate with the guns loaded. What can I say? I was going to try to catch it and stop it, but it is what it is. I hope he doesn't get two more graphic. You know what I'm saying? He got one MI fall off. Let's see if he keeps the thing. Stupid as a mother. Whoa, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, man, I'm thinking, I'm beginning to believe that um, not only some people not here feeling commonly, but some people are just really ticked off like about it, like really don't support it. Like really, like. Hillary Clinton level of non-support. You know what I'm saying? Like, in the area of, uh, you know what I'm saying? In the area of really not not rolling with him at all. I'm, 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 I'm getting John McCain is running vibes. You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, let's, let's let him keep going. I'm, now, he got one more. I'm going to give him one more, okay? Come on, bruh. Keep it PG-13. Let's try this. Fuck him. Damn. Some people, you know, they, they wear their emotions on their sleeve. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I get it, man. I appreciate his honesty, man. That's how that brother feels. 